CCG Construction gave me this hat. I just got it yesterday. I'll be wearing this for a little while. So it's uh, so it's good. So please make sure to go to VCG Construction, go to their YouTube channel, uh, subscribe, become a member, like their videos, watch them. He's very, very good in front of the camera, very informative. And don't forget on Thursday, which is uh, tomorrow, which is uh, August 20th, watch his stream for the new Milwaukee tools coming out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and watch his stream tomorrow for the new line of tools that are coming out by Milwaukee. Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a versus video between the brand new Ryobi HP Compact Drill Driver against the Milwaukee uh, brushless drill driver. Now, in my opinion, this is the best drill driver Ryobi's ever came out with. This seriously is powerful, especially for a compact tool. If they take this technology and make it into a, uh, a regular size drill, it will be an extremely powerful tool. This is actually solid in the hand and it does, this does not feel cheap. The new line does not feel cheap in the hands. Now this one, this feels cheap in the hands. It feels out of place. The, the weight is not distributed rightly. You could hear rattling in there, but this drill is a huge revolution and evolution on Ryobi's part. This is seriously a powerful drill. This brushless uh, P252 drill driver. And look at the size difference. All right, so even this Ryobi is smaller than the Milwaukee. I honestly believe in this video, the Ryobi will keep up with the Milwaukee. Now this video is for drill drivers, all right? This is not about hammer drills. And as far as I know, uh, Milwaukee does not make a fuel version of their drill driver. Do make the hammer drill, the fuel version hammer drill, which this is extremely powerful. Let's go over the specs really quick and let's, uh, let's get to it. Alrighty, so in this video, we are gonna be using a three amp hour high output battery from Milwaukee. Uh, the model number for the, this brushless drill driver is 2801-20. It is two speed settings, 18 point clutch plus one, which the plus one is drill. And this goes to uh, at speed one, zero to 500 RPM on speed two, zero to 1800 RPM. This does not save the torque. I'll put the torque in right now. And so, yeah, so it, it, it's good. There's LED light on the bottom, single light. It is a metal, a metal housing chuck with a, a metal chuck inside. Half inch chuck as well. And yes, this is the Milwaukee M18 drill driver. All right, so the Ryobi compact drill driver. This is model number PSBDD01CN. It's a half inch chuck. It's a half inch metal chuck with plastic housing. And two speed settings, a 23 point clutch plus one. On speed one, it is zero to 450 RPM. On speed two, zero to, zero to 1700 RPM. And this does not save the torque. I'll put the torque in right now. Single LED light on the bottom of the base. And in my, in my opinion, they should have cut down the base. Now, I would have been completely happy with, there's a line right here, if they stopped the base right there and let the tool stick out. Because as you can see, and let, let the battery stick out, because as you can see, on the other tools, it does it as well. It's not like the battery is flush with the base ending. I'd be more happy with that than this. I would like to see that cut off and then have the rest of the battery just exposed because after all, it does say Ryobi on there. So if this was exposed, I would be happy with that. But any, that's, that's a different story. So, so this is the Ryobi HP line, brushless motor. And so the HP, and as you can see in these, the HP connections are no longer there. As you can see on an older model, there's two connections right there. So now what they did is the HP system is in the tool. So any battery will act like an HP battery. So that's what all, all the other companies already did. And that's what Ryobi did as well. So now these are just uh, HP batteries going into an HP tool, which is just as better. And so, like I said, I love the black, the green and black. It looks good. All right, so let's go. Let's uh, let's go to it. Remember, when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. And mine right here. All right, first we are going to use the Milwaukee. We're going to see if it could do this on speed two. 
The one thing I will say about the Milwaukee that I don't think you can do on the Ryobi is you could lock the bit in place. Like you uh, use a ratcheting chuck, then you click back one to lock it. So I, I'm not sure if you can do that with the Ryobi. I'm not sure if you could do it with that. Battery is full, three amp hour high output battery. It's on speed two, it's on drill. Pressure treated uh, two, uh, two by four right here. All right, so ready, go. Stopped. There we go, and it came undone. See that, that locking doesn't always work. That locking doesn't always work. Do that, then you click back one. Now it should be locked. All right, let's do it again. Ready, go. Went through that time. All right, we're gonna do one more. Each drill is gonna do three. And we'll, I'm gonna time them individually. Ready, go. Oh, that doesn't count. That fed into the other one. Fed into the other one. A little bit, just my bad, my bad. All right, last one, I promise. Go. Hey, went through that time, excellent. Excellent. All right, it's time for Ryobi. So we have one, uh, one inch spade. I love that ratcheting. Yes, yeah, I'm not sure you could, if you could click this back one because it, it just uh, uh, unlocks it. So I don't think you could uh, turn and click back to lock it on this. All right, so we are using the three amp hour HP P195 uh, battery. It's on drill, speed two, battery is full. All right, so ready, go. It's through. Let's do it again. We're do two more. Ready, go. It stopped once. Time. One more. Ready, go. Yeah, it's through. It's through. Yeah, the same thing with the Milwaukee. The reason why it stopped, because it uh, they both get stuck on stuff like this, you know, and it, it jams the. So yeah, so that that's why the Milwaukee stopped as well. Just at the last uh, centimeter, it 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 gets locked up. So that is the one inch spade. Let's do the three quarter inch. Drill bit by Milwaukee. Let's actually use the other one. A three quarter inch bit by Milwaukee. It's on speed two, it's on drill, battery is still full. All right, we're gonna do uh, two holes. They, each of these get, unless if it's user error and it bleeds into the other hole, both of these only get one shot each at two, at, uh, two holes. All right, so if, it, uh, if, if in this test, even if the Ryobi stops, if it stops, it failed that test. I wanna do this to where it goes all the way through. All right, so ready? without stopping. Ready, go. Okay, that one through. One more. Ready, go. Oh, okay, Milwaukee stopped at that, at that one, so whatever the time for that one was, that's the time. See, that's locked in there, that's good. Come on. Gee, there we go, got it. All right, it is Ryobi's turn. So if Ryobi stops twice, then it, it failed the test. It might, it might not, do not know. All right, so that should be good. Ready, go. It stopped once. Technically it bled through the other, it bled the other hole. All right, let's do it again. Ready, go. Up, oh, speed two, yep, go. Yep, stop, the uh, Ryobi stopped for both of them. Stopped again. 
All right, so Ryobi failed that test. Milwaukee got one hole out of two. Ryobi got zero holes out of two. I'll show you guys an example really quick on the difference of power when it comes to drill drivers and hammer drills. Yeah, this, thing's a, this thing is a beast. All right, watch this. This is the difference between a drill driver and a, the hammer drill. This is gonna do this with no problem, twice. Done. Next, we're gonna do the one and a quarter inch speed bore. Let's see if Milwaukee is able to do it on speed two. I, uh, I highly doubt it. I, I, I think it'll go a couple of uh, centimeters, then stop. All right, so a little bit more. Ready, go. Nope, not capable of doing it. Not capable of doing it. All right, so we're gonna do, go to speed one. Right here. Ready, go. Time. Careful of the wrists. And it came out. All right, Ryobi is next. Speed one. I know that it can't. I know that Ryobi can't do that on speed two because no other drill can. Drill driver can. Only the big brother and hammer drills can do that. All right, so we're ready. Go. Time. Time. All right, next, let's do the one and three eighths. Let's do the one and three eighths. Right here is good. It's on speed. Uh, I know we can't do it on speed one, on speed two, so let's do speed one. All right, so ready? Go. Careful of the wrists. It's through. I'm gonna stop the timer when I, because it, it's through. It gets, like I said, it gets caught on the shrapnel underneath. All right, so it is Ryobi's turns on speed one. Right here should be good. That clears everything. All right, so ready, go. It's through. Next, let's do the one and a half, the one and a half inch. Right here should be good. We clear everything. Speed one. All right, so ready, go. There we go. Let's do Ryobi. All right, one and a half inch spade. Speed one, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. It's through. See, it gets stuck, like it, it gets stuck on this stuff, you know, that, that it, this break, this gets, uh, both drills do, all drills do when it comes to this size. All right, we're gonna do this on speed one and time this. All right, right here is good. We're gonna do two holes. All right, so ready, speed one, ready, go. That's one, go. Two. All right, this is Ryobi's two holes. I'll do it right here. It's on speed one. All right, ready? Go. Time. One more. Hopefully, it'll. I'll do it right here. Ready? Go. Time. All right. Only a few more tests. We are only going to do speed two. Speed two. Let's see. Let's see what it, what these can do. Go.
time. All right, we got speed two. Battery life is at full bar still. Go. time. Now Ryobi had uh, trouble in the beginning but it went smoothly after that. Milwaukee had a smooth beginning but had trouble at the end. So yeah that's that. Test what we are gonna do. I got a 4x6 right here. We are gonna see on how well these do doing a one and a half inch hole until it hits the until the wood hits the chuck. All right, so ready, go. Time. Time, time, time. Didn't do a bad job, see now the difference? All right, that's the last test for the Milwaukee. And the temperature is 122 degrees. The Milwaukee got up to 122 degrees. All right, since this and the final battery life is at three bars. Speed one, the battery is still full. Battery is still full on the Ryobi. All right, so right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Oh, my bad, I, I let go. Start the clock over. I, I let go, that's my bad. Because I, I was trying to adjust, but it got out of my hands. Continue. Time. There you go. See, it's at the perfect. Let's take it out. No problem. And I am very sorry, the final temp, it's been about two minutes. The final temperature for the Ryobi, 116, there we go, it's 119. So the, I do not know what the test results are, I found those out during the ed editing of the video, but like I did say, Re uh, Milwaukee will win this one, but the Ryobi isn't going to be far behind. Now the drill drivers themselves have an issue with certain tasks, that across all brands, their drill drivers have issues with certain tasks, that their bigger brother hammer drills can do with a much easier time. Ignore the fact that it's Ryobi in the way that they used to do. Even their brushless line uh, when it first came out was a huge jump from where it was and they made that jump even bigger to the next line. This thing actually is powerful. Uh, for the size it is, you know, remember the Milwaukee is bigger than the, Milwa uh, than the Ryobi is. It's bigger. And so you got to admit that the new Ryobi HP line is actually doing a good job so far when it comes to their uh, their tools. All right, plenty of videos coming out, you guys. This channel is not going anywhere. This channel is new. We are doing very good. We're at 20,000, we're over 20,000 subscribers. I thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching my videos. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>